morning to Higher Calling Baptist Church Sunday morning worship experience. We're so grateful to be here this morning. We're grateful for another day of life. Truly, he's good to us. He shows us mercies every morning. Amen? Amen. I am Reverend Valerie Jones. We honor the Lord this morning. We honor our pastors, Dr. John Melvin Wooten and Reverend Patricia Wooten. To all ministers and deacons present this morning and all under the sound of my voice, we greet you in the name that is above all names. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. We do not own the rights to the music that was played, and at this time we will re receive a selection uh, from our choir. Amen? Amen. Uh, not only of the world, but our nation, um, and, you know, even our state and local governments. We need to pray for all of that. Um, pray for the unsaved and our church family. And on that note, uh, please pray for uh, Deacon Tom Wooten. Uh, we, we extend condolences uh, to him and his wife, Dr. Ada W. Wooten, on the passing of her mother, Brother Tom's mother-in-law, Miss Isla K. Williams. Please keep the family in your prayers. 
Mrs. Williams was uh, eulogized on yesterday. So keep them in your prayers, please. We also pray for the healing list, um, our pastor's healing list, and if you're on there, then you're covered. I'm not gonna call out all the names because they are numerous. But please stand at this time for the reading of God's word um, as Reverend Roberts comes forth and then Deacon Coe in that order. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning, how are you calling? It's good to be, it's good to be here. Amen. I will be reading Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. Uh -huh. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out uh -huh. and thy coming in yes. from this time yes. forth uh -huh. and even forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. The Lord is that keeper. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Turn to God our Father, we thank you for this thank opportunity of God to call upon your precious name. Yes, Lord. Oh God, as we call upon your name, oh God, we thank you, oh God, for who you are. Yes. God, we thank you, oh God, for your son Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we ask you right now, God, as we stand before you, oh God, this morning to forgive us for our sins, oh God, our shortcomings, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for being a God like you are. Yes. Oh God, we thank you for keeping us, God. Oh God, we thank you, God, because we were on the wake up list this morning, oh God. And for this, we said thank you, God. Oh God, thank you for being so good, oh God. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, oh God. Our hearts, oh God, are filled with joy, oh God, that only you can provide. Oh God, we say thank you, God. Oh God, as we stand here this morning, we ask you, oh God, to bless, oh God, the bereaved families everywhere, oh God. Oh God, we bless the sick, God, everywhere, God. We ask you, God, to touch, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for being, oh God, just our everything, oh God. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't praise you enough, oh God. Our souls cry out to you, oh God. Oh God, to be gone from day to day, God, we continue to ask, oh God, you to increase our faith, oh God. Stir up our own belief, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you to continue to bless our family, oh God. Keep them, oh God, in your care, oh God. Continue to order our steps, oh God. That's the way it's pleasing to you, oh God. We just thank you for your Holy Spirit, oh God. Oh God, they teach us, oh God. Oh God, they lead us, oh God. We say thank you, God. God, continue to bless the world, oh God. In the name of Jesus. The things that's going on in this world, oh God. You know about it. And God, you're going to work it out in due time, oh God. In your own way. We say thank you, God. We thank you for this local assembly right here today, oh God. Bless the one that have come to receive the word this morning, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Pour out your spirit on them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And the one that's going to bring the word this morning, oh God. Bless him, God. Take him down into the storehouse, oh God. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh, help all ears to receive that word. With the mind to live it, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And when we don't, oh God, forgive us, oh God. As we have walked in our own willful way. Forgive us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. But God, we have continued to trust you, God. Continue to love you, God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for loving us. Oh God, we thank you for being that one that never changes, oh God. Thank you for being consistent with us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, for we are continuing to love you, God, for loving us, oh God. And those that don't, God, you still love them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Our souls cry out to you this morning. Help us to worship you, God. Help us to glorify you this morning, God. Because you're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you right now. For all you're doing in our lives, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Continue to keep us in your care, oh, God. Oh, God, bless us, oh, God. Bless our going in and our coming out, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. And you will be glorified, God. You will be glorified, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Well, this is your own servant's prayer. We thank you and we praise you, oh God, for all your benefits, for all you do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 volunteer all day at a tour drive in Rocky Mount and on the way home I fell asleep. When I woke up I felt myself veering off the road and when I woke up I couldn't avoid wrecking my car. No one else was involved. My car is a little messed up but guess what? Oh. God allowed me. He allowed me to make it home. My car is drivable. I mean, it's the older car anyway. So guess what? It's material. But God kept me. For that, I'm so grateful. He is a keeper. He is a keeper. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he's worthy to be praised. It was the enemy, but it's okay. It's okay because he didn't do anything to me. My spirit, man, or my body, my God took care of me. Amen. Amen. Our morning announcements. Please be reminded that there is no Bible study the month of December um, so that you can enjoy uh, the Christmas time and time with your families. 
Sunday school is held each Sunday morning at 945, with the exception of the fifth Sunday, and you are encouraged to join us. Please be reminded that our church is open for morning worship with no restriction on the number of worshipers. However, if you decide to join us, a mask is required and it must be worn the entire time that you're in the building and it must cover your mouth and your nose. Your temperature also will be taken at the door. As a reminder, if you or members of your household are sick, please stay at home. Amen? And we not only have to worry about COVID now, but we also, which is on the rise, the numbers are. Uh, we also have to worry about the RSV um, virus, the respiratory virus, as well as the flu. Um, young, healthy people are dying. Um, had um, one of my, my oldest daughter's mother-in-law lost um, her nephew yesterday, and he's a young, he's young. Um, to what he thought was just a, a um, infection, a bronchial in infection. And he, he died yesterday. She had talked to him just a couple hours before. So it's not just old people. Let's take care of ourselves and be mindful of this thing that is running rapid. Amen? Amen. 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 Also, um, our calling our board meeting uh, is scheduled for December 20th at 6 p.m here at the church, please be on time so that we can uh, get out and um, at a decent time, amen? <laughs> amen. Um, as well, uh, it's giving time, amen. amen? It's giving time, we should be excited, you know, about giving back to God. During this season of giving, let us be mindful that the greatest gift that was ever given was the gift of eternal life yeah, yeah. given to us by God as he gave his only begotten son that lived among us, was crucified, died, and was raised on the third day, amen, with all power in his hands. So we should be excited about that. We should be excited and we are commanded to give back to God. His word tells us that we should give a tenth of what he has given to us. Amen? Amen? And if you'd like to give to higher calling, there are three ways in which you can give. You can drop your offering off here um, at, at the church on Sundays before 1 p.m. And that is at 4036 Ward Boulevard, Wilson, N.C. You can donate at our website, hcbcwilsonnc.com, or you can leave your tithe and offering as you exit the sanctuary at the service. And if you have your tithe and offering in your hand this morning, uh, if you have it ready, would you place it in your right hand and lift it up toward heaven? Because that's who you're giving it to. Our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Holy Father, Holy I bring my tithe into the storehouse. In obedience to your command. I give it freely. Honestly. And without reservation. I thank you, Father, for opening the windows of heaven and pouring out a blessing for me and my family. I thank you for rebuking the devourer for my sake. I thank you that his hands are tied concerning my money. I thank you that I'm whole, that I'm free, and that I'm blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy. I'm telling you, he's faithful. Trust him. His word says, test me and see. When I open up the windows of heaven and pour out more blessings than you're able to receive. In one version, the NIV says he'll throw open the floodgates of heaven. I don't know about you, but if you've ever seen a dam, 
You know how big a dam is. So he'll open that up and pour you, pour you out blessings. Amen? Amen. And I, this morning I would just like to recognize two of our members here who celebrate a birthday this morning. Karen and Kathy Harris. Amen. Days, but I know it's their birthday today. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. Amen. Amen. It is now time for the preached word. Amen. Hallelujah. Our own pastor, Dr. John Melvin Wooten, will bring forth the word of God this morning. He certainly needs no introduction. He doesn't need me to stand up here and tell you what his accolades are. Because he can rightly divide the word of truth. Amen? Amen. So he doesn't need them. He might need a little bit of boosting because they say it's just like to say and sip them to a dog when you say amen or whatever to a preacher, okay? So he might need that this morning. So don't, you know, but he is going to come on his own this morning. He's going to bring forth the word that God has given to him in his own way. So let's stretch our hands toward our pastor this morning and repeat after me. Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach under the anointing. Preach the word. Amen. Be blessed. We ever think about the time that we come from far back when. Sometimes we need to remember that where we came from. Amen. How we got over. Yes. And just what God did for us. My God. I can think about the messes that I used to get into. And, mm, and my grandmama. And that's what this song reminds me of my grandmama. When she when I knew I was in a hot fix. She would always call me, Terry Lane, didn't I tell you not to do that? Now, I don't know what she was telling me that for, because just as soon as she told me that, I should know that I was going to do it. <laughs> but I was going to meet up with the structure around the bend, too. And that would come down the pipe, and it would come down the pipe hard. And now I'm thinking about, you know, I'm older now. Grandma ain't here to tell me that no more. But I'm pretty sure she sucked the Lord on me. Say, you get her when she come around the bend. <laughs> I already told her. So we think about our messes and we think about how we can clean it up. And then we think about just how good God has been to us. Amen. Through everything. Yes. Through a lot of mess. Through a lot of trials. Yes. Through a lot of tears. Yes. And I can tell you this. Now I know that God. My God, God is good. Yes, yes. I said, God, my God, God is good. Yes. You know he brought me out of the darkness. God is good. Save my soul. God. 
we honor the Lord. Amen. And certainly thank God. Amen. For allowing us to be here today. It is good to be amongst the living. And not amongst the dead. One of our preachers says it's good to be on this side of the dirt. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. We give honor, amen, to these preachers, amen, who are in the pulpit with us on today. We thank God for them. Amen, Reverend Christine Adams, amen. amen. Reverend Darcy Roberts, amen. amen, our MC and our announcer, amen, Reverend Valerie Jones. Amen. And certainly thank God for uh, our preacher on the end there, Reverend Lefty Whitley. Amen. amen. Look at how good God is. We thank God for Reverend Sherry Jenkins. And then we thank God for Reverend James Gear. Amen to God be the glory. We have a visitor today, Pastor William Bush. Thank God for his presence, his lovely wife. Amen. Is here today. We bring a good and thank God for her. Amen. Uh, I know I need to go ahead and preach because y'all ready to go already. But I'm looking at Diane Cuffey. Amen. <laughs> you know, God's so good sometimes you just can't help yourself. You just got to throw up your hands and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank God, amen. I, I, I see Mama Kitty sitting over there. And I won't have a chat with her. Amen. But I'm glad to see her. Amen. 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 God is good. Amen. Even when tough stuff happens, God is still good. Am I right about it? Amen. He's the one to bring us out of the tough stuff. Protect us while we're going through it. Amen. To him be the glory. Amen. I see my brother back there. Deacon Tom Wood. <laughs> well, we said it didn't tickle me so bad. And, and the reason why it tickled me, Tom knows why it tickles me. Amen. But we are we are, we are grateful to see him this morning. He realized his mother-in-law, whom he loved very dearly, on yesterday. Amen. And yet he's in the house of God Amen. on today. <clears throat> Amen. There's something about being in the house of God. Amen. A whole lot of folk that forgot that. Amen. There's something about being in God's house. Amen. And no matter what you are going through, Amen. No matter how bad things get, if you can just make it to the house of God, Amen, you will find some comfort, yes. some consolation, Amen. Yes. God will speak to you yes. if you will listen yes. to His voice. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. We do want to give honor to my wife, Amen, who was absent today. Amen. 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 She is. You know. You know. I, you know. I had a grandbaby. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I ain't had nothing to do with it, but <laughs> but that's a pretty little fellow to me. Amen. We are grateful. Amen for him and for his mother, John. Amen. We know that God is able. Amen. And they are taking care of the baby today. They had to go back to uh, the doctor this morning for. Her. Some maintenance. I'm going to call it maintenance issues. Amen. <coughs> Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. 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 There is a word from the Lord. Just, let me just get to the word. How about that? <laughs> Amen. I told you I would come back and do some more in Psalm 116. I want to be a man of my word, so Psalm 116. Find it, would you say amen? amen? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now for 
this time of sharing with each other and for sharing the gospel. We give you the praise, oh God, for your presence in our midst. God, we realize that we can do nothing without you, so God, we invite you, oh God, to take full control even right now. Take this preacher. Yes. Hide him behind the cross. Yes, yes Lord. Speak through me this morning that yes. your word may come forth with power and demonstration of the Spirit. Oh God, have back on way. For well, it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Psalm 116. We're going to start there at verse number two. I tell you what, let's start at verse one. It says, I love the Lord mm -hmm. because he has heard my voice and my supplication. Yes. Because he has inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. The sorrows of death mm -hmm. come past me. And the pains of hell get hold upon me. Uh -huh. I found trouble and sorrow. Mm -hmm. Then I call upon the name yes. of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. O Lord, I beseech thee, uh -huh. deliver my soul. Yes. Gracious is the Lord yes. and righteous. Yes. Yeah, our God is merciful. Yes. The Lord preserveth the simple. I was brought low, and he helped me. I'm going to stop right there. Would you turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. oh neighbor, oh, neighbor. I, love the Lord. I love the Lord, because, because he delivered me, he delivered me from, trouble from trouble to triumph. To triumph. Amen. Amen. You can be seated in the house of God. Very briefly this morning, if the Lord says so, I want to use for a thought from trouble to triumph. Amen. Amen. Two of the worst things, I believe, that you can do in this life is to stop believing in yourself. Amen. And to stop believing that God is at work in you. Mm -hmm. Are you in here? Yeah. It is a sad thing to allow the bad things that can go wrong in life yes. uh -huh, yes. to so beat you down until you get to the point that you begin to doubt. Yes. You, you know what I mean. You start to doubt yourself. Yeah. You doubt your abilities to get things done. You doubt that God is working in you and you doubt that God will ever come through for you yeah. to assist you in whatever situation that you are in. Y'all going to pray with me? Yeah. I find today that Every now and then on this Christian journey, yes. life will sometimes throw stuff at you that will make you wonder whether or not you can go any further. Yes. Amen. Every now and then you will find yourself in a situation that will rob you of your joy, rob you of your peace and your confidence. Sometimes life will drop you in such a tight spot that you find it hard to believe that things can work out for you or that God is going to help you. God help us today. But I came to let you know that no matter what is going on in your life and no matter how bad life has gotten, God has not given us the spirit of fear. But rather God has declared through his word that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I don't care how hopeless, I don't care how critical your situation looks, God has not deserted you. Amen. For God is always on the side of those 
who live for him. And if God is for you, then it don't matter who it is that is against you. I came to let you know today that the God you serve is able to turn your trouble into triumph. Look, and before I go any further, consider this. Consider what I'm about to say and, 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 and own this. If you are born again, then God has put his spirit in you. You have the great one on the inside of you. Are y'all listening to me? And I don't want to get too far away from the message here, but St. John 4 and 4 says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That means you already have what it takes to overcome the devil. Amen. You have the power within you to overcome every scheme and every trick that the devil throws at you. God put greater on the inside of you. God put his spirit on the inside of you. And he gave it to you the moment that you accepted his son as your savior. So, so, so if you are a believer, then you already possess the power to overcome every trouble, every hardship, and every trial. You've got that power on the inside of you. But you know what? If you listen to some of us talk, you would think that the one who is less is on the inside. Amen. They're always talking negative. Always talking defeat. Always talking down. And because that's the way they talk, that's the way they are. Amen. Amen. They talk down, so they are down. They talk defeat, so they are defeated. Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Are y'all in here? But I came to tell you that if you want to access the power that God already gave you, then you got to believe and declare that the one who is more, the one who is greater, is on the inside of you. Now, now, now I'm not talking about name it and claim it. I'm not talking about uh, uh, blab it and grab it. <laughs> I'm talking about speaking life. Uh -huh. I'm talking about speaking God's word over your life. Yes, sir. Are y'all in here? Yeah. That means you got to declare with your mouth that greater is on the inside of you. Uh -huh. And because greater is in me, I decree and declare that I am victorious over my circumstances. Are y'all in here? Because greater is in you, you got to say, I am successful in all that I do. I am an overcomer. And I shall triumph over every adversity. Greater is in me, and I am a winner. I won't ever quit. I refuse to give up. My knees will always be met. I will always have more than enough. I decree and I declare right now that what I get will always be divinely assigned because greater is in me. And I'm not bragging about it. I'm not boasting on what I can do. But I'm declaring what greater in me can do. Is there anybody in high calling today who can shout because God put his spirit in you? And even if you are down right now, you know that you won't be down for long. You know that you won't be in trouble for long. Because the God you serve is already moving on your behalf. I need just a few more minutes. Take your time. I'm going to get out of the way. Take time. Let me text. God demonstrates to us uh -huh. 
that God is well able to turn every trouble that you and I have into triumph. Pray with me for just a little while. In this particular psalm, the psalmist reveals to us that he had been in serious trouble. Uh -huh. He said in verse 3, you got your Bible though? Mm -hmm. yeah. Won't you look at it now for you won't be accusing me. <laughs> he said in verse 3, that the sorrows of death. You yeah. see that? Yeah. The sorrows of death had entangled yeah. him. Yeah. Uh -huh. He said that the pains of hell yeah. had gotten a hold mm -hmm. of him. Uh -huh. And that he was being overcome yeah. with trouble and sorrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. God help us yes. today. Yes. Now, 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 this psalmist does not say what the calamity was uh -huh. that he was facing that made him feel like that. But whatever it was, it gave him a feeling yeah. of complete helplessness. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all in here? Yeah. Is there anybody in here today? Who has ever been in a season of hopelessness? Yes, yes, Come on now. Have you ever yes, felt like your back yes, was against yes, a wall? Yes, and no matter which yes, way you turned, uh -huh. it looked like you were trapped. Yes. You know what I mean. You were doing all that you knew to do uh -huh. to try to hold on to yes, what you sir. got. But everything you tried yes. seemed to come up yes, short. Yes, Pastor. Maybe it was a season when your marriage was in a mess. Uh -huh. or, or maybe it was a season uh, when your job was so shaky that it looked like it was never going to get you to where you wanted to be. Yeah. Maybe you were doing your best to live holy yeah. and to live right. But it looked like everybody and everything was against you and you felt trapped. Uh -huh. You felt Healed in on every side with no sign of help, no deliverance in sight, and everything seemed to be falling apart. Maybe you're feeling like that today. Maybe you're feeling today like the pain of hell has gotten a hold of you. Well, I stop by to tell you that if you are truly a child of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't come unglued. Go ahead, brother. Because help is on the way. Yeah. Break up your pity pot. Uh -huh. Dry up your crying eye. Yeah. For the Lord has declared through his word yes, that in all things, in all things. you and I, uh -huh. we are more than conquerors yes, through him that loved us. And I came to encourage you that with God's help, uh -huh. you're going to be delivered from trouble to triumph. Let me hear it now. In verse 1, Someone said, I love the Lord. I love yeah. the Lord. I'm going to hurry up, y'all. Go on, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said in verse 1, he says, he said, I love the Lord. Uh -huh. Because he heard my voice. My voice. Yes, yes. And my, my supplication. Are y'all listening? Yes, uh -huh. now, now, in the Hebrew, he is saying that God has heard him asking for favor. Yeah. God help me to preach this. Now you got to understand, just like the psalmist did, that you can't do anything to earn yeah, the right. favor of God. Yes, sir. Yes. God gives favor at his own discretion. Yes, and then God gives favor simply because God wants to give yeah. you favor. It isn't based on how good you are. Uh -huh. It isn't based on how righteous you have lived. Yeah. In fact, in fact, I found out that you can be in a mess of your own making. That's right. That's right. And God will still bless you with enough favor to turn your mess into a miracle. 
to the glory of God. Yes, sir. Y'all in this house? Yes. The psalmist said, "Look, look, are y'all y'all still got your Bible up? Yes. That look, this psalmist had gone through something here uh -huh. that was so devastating that it made him feel like the sorrows of death were surrounding him. So, so in his prayer." God help me. Come on. This guy, he didn't take time to engage in a bunch of useless religious talk. Uh -huh. Y'all here? Look, look. He, he didn't waste his time with a lot of high phony talk meant to flatter God. But rather, this guy got straight to the point. In verse 4, he said, you got your Bible? He says, O oh Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Can y'all hear? <laughs> this man, this man's situation was so critical. His situation was so urgent that his prayer was just eight words. He said, oh Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Is there anybody in the house calling today who has been in something so severe that all you could do was just hold your head in your hand and say, Lord, Help me. Oh, 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 Lord, I need you. Oh, 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 Lord, have mercy on me. And, and did you notice that when you said that, that God still came to your rescue? Look, 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 look. look, look. I, I found out that in the word of God, some of the most effective prayers were short prayers. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Look, David's prayer in Psalm 30 was only 13 words. Look, look. The prayer of Peter, you remember when Peter was walking out in the sea and began to sink? His prayer was only three words. He said, Lord, save me. The, the disciples prayed when they were in trouble in the middle of the lake, rowing with all their might. Amen. Waves looked like they were going to overtake them. What did they say? They said, Lord, save us. We perish. Good God from on high. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that when I am in trouble yes. and I need my Savior's yes. help, yes. I don't have to recite some long length of prayer. I don't have to be eloquent. I don't have to say the right kind of words for folk, for folk who are listening. But all I have to do is just call on the name of Jesus. Tell him all about my trouble. You know what? I remember my sister Louise. She used to sing her prayer when she was in trouble. My sister sang, come by here, good Lord. Come by here. Look, my sister wasn't a Bible scholar. She wasn't even that religious. But she knew that God was able to help her. So she sang her prayer. She said, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Come by here. And my sister found out that when you call on God, that God will incline his ear towards you. That's why Bishop F.C. Barnes, he said, when I call on God, he'll come to your rescue anywhere any place at any time I came to tell you today that God will deliver you from trouble to try I'm going to close y'all but remember 
And I'm getting long for sure. <laughs> Take your time, back. But remember, the song is said in verse 1. I'm back to verse 1 again. <laughs> he says, he says, he says, he says that, that God heard his voice and his supplication. Are y'all in here? Then, then look at verse 2. Verse 2, Psalm said that God inclined uh -huh. his ear unto him. You see that? Then, then in verse 4, the psalmist prayed for deliverance. And God delivered him. Well, look, 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 look. I know that God delivered him. Because there in verse 6, are you looking? He says, I was brought low. And God Almighty. Marshall, this is mighty good to me. <laughs> See, because I've been brought low in my life. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've been brought so low, I couldn't even hardly look up. Uh -huh. But I called. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was brought low in the hill. Then, then, in verse 7, Someone says, the Lord dealt bountifully uh -huh. yes, with me. Uh -huh. and look, here it is, here it is, uh -huh. here it is, verse 8. <coughs> he says, he delivered my soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My eyes from tears and my feet. From y'all ain't even looking. You better look in the Bible. <laughs> look at verse eight. He said, "He said he delivered my soul from death." Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. He delivered my eyes. Uh huh. From tears. He delivered my feet from fall. I'm going to my seat, y'all. Yeah. But remember, remember, back in verse 4, mm -hmm. this man asked God uh -huh. to deliver his soul. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. But now here in verse 8, we find that not only did God deliver his soul, yeah. uh -huh. yeah. Which is what the man asked for. But God also delivered his eyes. Uh -huh. And his feet. What I'm trying to tell you is this God that we serve. He's able to do more than you're asking for. Ain't he a good God? Uh, you know, and that reminds me of this story mm -hmm. about a Sunday school teacher uh -huh. who asked her class if they knew the difference between kindness uh -huh. and loving kindness. Come on, come on. Well, as it happened, one little girl raised her hand. Uh -huh. And she said that an example of kindness uh -huh. is when you ask your mama for some toast. <laughs> and your mama prepares the toast for you. Uh -huh. And then she gives it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. But loving kindness uh -huh. is when you ask your mama for some toast. And she prepares it for you. But before she gives it to you, she spreads some jelly on top of it. <laughs> and then she gives it to you. Oh, beloved. The God we serve is just like that. Yes, sir. And he's able to do more for you than you ask him for. That's why Paul said, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you ask or think according to the power that working in us to him be glory in the church. God is able to bless you with more than you ask for. That's what David said. 
that he anointed my head with oil. Then he said, my cup running over. Yeah, God will give you more than you ask for. That's why Abraham declared that God is my shield and my exceeding great reward. I'm trying to tell you that God is able to give you more than what you ask for. He's El Shaddai, the Almighty God. He's the God who's more than enough. And I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that God will daily load us up with his benefits. For they are renewed every day. Oh, beloved, don't worry about how bad your situation is looking. Don't worry about what folk are saying about you and about your trouble. Don't worry about the rumors they are spreading around. Don't worry about peace slips. Don't worry about doctor visits. Don't worry about diagnosis. Don't worry about threatening letters. Just remember that the God you serve hears your cry and your supplication. God Almighty. Remember that the Lord has inclined his ear unto you. That means that God is paying attention to your prayer and he's working on your behalf. But the Bible declares that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous of Melon Mutter, the Lord, he's working it out for you. Good God Almighty. And in the fullness of time, your deliverance will come. Your victory will manifest. Your pain and your sorrow, it shall be over. You shall come forth and hear gold. Because the Lord, he won it out on your behalf. The Lord will never forget you. No matter how mad, no matter what you're facing, God will. Deliver you from trouble to triumph. That's the kind of God that we serve. Can you pray with me now? Heavenly Father, we thank you, yes, thank you. for your word yes, yes, thank you. and for the assurance. Yes. Yes. That you love us enough yes. to not only hear yes. our prayers, yes, yes, but to deliver us yes. from our trouble yes. when we pray yes. unto you. Yes. Thank you now, God. Thank you, God. For your spirit yes. Yes. that you put in us. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For the assurance yes. that you are ever with us. Yes. To help us yes. in our distress. Yes. Yes. Bless every hearer of your word today. Yes. Please say yes. Yes. such as will be said. Yes, Lord. In the strong and matchless name of Jesus our Lord, I pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. The doors of the church is open. And Jesus is called. Yes. Jesus is called. He says, the day that you hear my voice, uh -huh. harden not your heart. He said, though your sins are as scarlet, I will wash you whiter than snow. If you're here today and you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins, I offer you the Christ. He loves you. He loved you enough to die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will you come and live 
for him. Yes, I'm going to ask you to stand all over the building. Stand there. You're not saved. Today is your day. Today is your day. Maybe you are saved, but you don't have a church home. I offer you higher calling. Listen, the Lord loves you. Hear me. He wants you to have a covering. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the word. Will you come and make higher calling your church home? And listen, even if you don't make higher calling your church home, you still need a covering. Amen. You need a covering at some church. Yes. Yes. That teaches and preaches the Lord Jesus yes. Christ as Savior. Yes. Will you come today? Will you come and make Jesus your choice? Will you come and make higher calling your choice? The doors of the church is open. You know, in a few days, we're going to have the choir singing while y'all standing. Well, since they're not singing today, you may be sick. <laughs> no, I'll throw them under the bus on <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Listen, if you're on Facebook and you're not saved and you heard the message and you want to be saved, man, and please uh, contact us through our Facebook page. Contact Reverend Jenkins or she will be getting in touch with you as she reads all messages that are sent to our page. Will you contact her through our Facebook? Even if you are already saved and you want to join our church, please contact us through the Facebook page. Amen. Amen. And this concludes our worship service today. I'm going to let you go home. But I do have this announcement. Next Saturday, December the 17th at 2 p.m., we will be having our fellowship dinner, our holiday fellowship dinner. Amen. You are all invited. Amen. Those members of Higher Calling that are watching me via Facebook, you are invited to our holiday fellowship dinner. Please come and attend. Amen? Amen. 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 We miss you and we'd love to see you. Amen. During this Christmas season. Let the church say amen. 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 As we prepare to go home, thank God for the choir that sang beautifully. Beautifully. Thank God for our musicians, our ushers, our media staff. And thank you to all our visitors who are here today. Amen. Truly, we thank God for your prayer. Whether it's your first time here or if you come here quite often, we appreciate yes, you. We and we want you to know that God has a higher calling yes. for your life. To yes. God be the glory. Now I'm going to ask everybody to stand all over the building as we prepare to go home. Open up your hands. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Spirit rest rule and abide with us henceforth, now and forever. Let us all say amen. 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 God bless you. We are dismissed.